It's been seven years since I've been back to Port Protection, Alaska. And though it may sound cliche, so much has changed, yet so much has stayed the same. Personally, I was back here in Port Protection only three months after my dad just died. And it was fishing that provided a solace for me. And it was great to be fishing with Mike Jiggy Nichols again and my friend Matt Rose right here in the middle of Port Protection in Wooden Wheel Cove. Reminded me of that time that Amanda and I went fishing seven years ago in the same spot. There's a lot of people trolling for salmon around here, and but my dad would never forgive me if I didn't get out and use a rod and reel and try to catch one myself. So that's what I'm doing right now, not sure what kind of luck we're gonna have, but um, the weather is not very cooperative. <laughs> But that's Alaska. But it is still as beautiful out here. Okay, doing the dock drag. Dock drag. Dock cool. Drag. Or got nothing else going on in my Yeah. Dock drag. <laughs> that would be a good drink name. Dock drag. <laughs> in wooden is this wooden wheel cove but the main difference between this time and the last time i fished in this spot is that we're actually caught something oh matt's and got a matt got a chance to fight on. one right here in the cove it's an epic battle Starboard. Starboard. Hey, this thing's weird jerking. This guy looks good on the with a green background. Yeah, look at that. Rain coming down. Beautiful, look at that. Boom. Oh, there's no flasher on this one. This one's the one with the herring. Let's see if I can pull them up. Nope, not quite ready. A couple more feet towards the rod tip. Yeah, perfect. Just like that. Yeah. See if you can just lift up, keep lifting, keep lifting, keep lift, lift. lift. Come on, fish. Nice. 
nice one. Yeah. Nice, Matt. Beautiful. Let's see. That's okay. Now I got to deal with getting hooks out of his mouth. Without the. No pliers. No pliers. Okay. Huh? You want me to hold something? Yeah. First one came out easy. Nice, dude. It's a poor protection king salmon, buddy. King salmon, right? Yeah. Being in port protection sometimes feels like being in a dream because it's so different than the default world. First of all, there's no cars. The main mode of transport is boat or on foot. There's one store, no commercialism, and the intensity of the natural beauty is profuse. The light, the light is well, Alaska. And the food, the food's the best I've ever had. But you guys were on the skiff, right? Yeah, the skiff. Yep. Very cool. Okay, so this is the heart of that king salmon that we caught 20 minutes ago. And the locals say it's good to eat, so I'm gonna... No, actually I'm gonna cook it up. <laughs> they say a little butter, salt and pepper, and uh, yeah, it's like eating the heart of the sea here in Alaska. It's like uh, something else. I've eaten raw triggerfish liver, but I've never eaten a salmon heart, king salmon heart. Here you go. Mmm, oh man. That's good. Tastes like filet mignon. Wow, that's excellent. <laughs> I'm gonna give some to the guy who caught the fish. Salmon heart. Mmm. Oh yeah. Right? Wow. Yeah, real good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm all, I wouldn't be throwing that out. I know, I never <laughs> throw That's the best part, man. Yeah. Yeah, they're really good. Stay tuned to the Culinary Edge TV as we return for a seafood summer solstice in Port Protection, Alaska. We've returned to Port Protection. It's awesome to be back, uh, reuniting with people, and it's my extra tufts.